Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn what are the differences or the similarities between Oracle SOA business rules and uh, Oracle Integration Cloud decision model. At times, uh, we come across a scenario wherein uh, we want to separate our, uh, our rule engine or the business rules uh, uh, outside of our application, which will enable the business user to modify uh, the rules. Uh, without modifying the code or the application this functionality will be uh, enabled by business rules uh, in soa and similarly uh, by using a uh, decision model in oracle integration cloud first let us uh, go through the overview of what are the business rules uh, i will share the link in the description uh, as this is uh, oracle business rule makes process and application more flexible by enabling business analysts and non-developers to easily define and modify business rules without programming uh, as I told, like uh, anytime the business user can uh, log into the console or the UI and modify the business rules, uh, well, this functionality will be enabled by the business rules and there are a bunch of documentation. Suppose uh, there is an uh, age limit to drive a car in a particular country. If you consider the example of India, uh, the legal age to drive a vehicle is uh, 18 years. So uh, if the age of the applicant is uh, less than 18 years, then we can have this as a business rule wherein the application will be rejected or the message will be uh, thrown accordingly. Uh, if we apply for the uh, loan for any bank and uh, if that credit score of that particular applicant is uh, less than some criteria then we can uh, uh, deny the application uh, such kind of rules we can have uh, in the business rule uh, by having the simple if else condition like an algorithm uh, these are some bunch of documentation like uh, what are the features available in the business rules in soma like how to define a global variable dictionaries uh, or rule set facts value sets uh, we can have a business rule or a decision table decision to be taken uh, on a multiple measures or the dimensions then we can go for this uh, decision table kind of uh, rule and functionally it is equivalent to if then but uh, you will uh, find decision tables ideal for uh, specific circumstances like the complexity conflict resolutions and the gap analysis like on uh, different analysis or the measures the business rule uh, was supporting rl language uh, based on which uh, we could write the expressions or the rules let me head over to the oracle integration uh, this is uh, decision models are offered under uh, processes in oracle integration cloud so that's part of the process cloud or uh, which is uh, comes as a uh, under the umbrella of uh, oracle integration cloud so i will give the link in the description for decision model as well similarly uh, this also uh, will enable the business uh, users to modify the decisions or the rules engine uh, without modifying the application decision to be taken outside of our oic integration or any application then we can have this uh, uh, decision or the rule setup in our uh, decision model in the process uh, and uh, if any business users uh, okay, uh, want to modify any rules at runtime uh, in the production environment in a real life scenario then uh, he or she uh, can uh, uh, modify the rules without the help of any programmer this uses the friendly enough uh, expression language field again this documentation describes uh, where these decisions uh, come into picture like i was saying, giving the example of law application or the document to be approved so in that case uh, uh, these rules come into picture now let us see uh, what are the uh, data types uh, available in the field uh, like uh, any other data type um, it's uh, it's supporting number type boolean data time expressions uh, it supports the basic arithmetic operations uh, interval expressions comparisons operators like the less than greater than equal to dysfunction conjunction negation uh, this will be uh, very useful while uh, taking the decisions on writing the business and there are a bunch of time conversion functions and the string functions this is uh, quite often we use when writing the um, business flows and the very useful uh, thing is this regular expression uh, that is matches input pattern and the flag uh, this is similar to what we have in soa so if we are going for migration of a business rule from soa to oracle integration cloud then we can uh, straight away uh, copy that uh, regular expression matches or any expression from that rl business uh, uh, rule language to this field language most of the things uh, will work without any modification uh, some of the list function uh, this is also will be useful we will uh, check in our next video how to create a, a decision model uh, give you a walkthrough on the uh, simple uh, use case as well uh, now let me head over to the oracle integration cloud and show you the navigation i am here in oracle integration cloud uh, console click on this hamburger menu on the left top corner and uh, uh, you can see the bunch of things earlier we had seen this integration now we have to go for these processes and click on this decision models as of now i don't have any decision models created uh, we will learn in our next video how to create a decision model uh, and we'll have a, a basic uh, walkthrough on this and uh, we'll see how to uh, call this decision model uh, or HTTPS protocol